Hey guys, this is your man Jordan, host of Alter Elderly Games, and today I'm here to talk about, or just rant about, what Capcom and Street Fighter V is fucking up for PC users online. This is Gaming and News Updates. It's a big one. Jesus. First of all, if you're a PS4 user for Capcom and Street Fighter V, then you're just fine. You're absolutely just fine. You're okay. But for us, the PC users who have the Steam version of Street Fighter V, we are eternally fucked until they get that rollback issue handled. Let me sympathize, or let me elaborate on what's going on here. Basically, a new update for the Urian update for Street Fighter V has just came out and it's like a seven gigabyte download and it's pretty hefty there's new st stage transitions there's um there's urian there's more colors there's some more stuff in the shop there's missions like there's like a it's a big hefty update you know and i think they're doing some online server updates as well but for pc users there's also another single problem all right now to fight the hacking that's been going on online on the PC version, they have Capcom wanted to fight back against those people. Even though they already had a system that penalized you for recent and unadvised activity. And what I'm saying for for that activity is basically using a oh, um you win the first round in survivor mode and then you beat the whole thing. That that kind of hacking, you know. Uh, for PC modders and stuff like that. It's not a visual mod, it's not a sound mod, it's for like beating the survivor mode, you know, for, you know, really easy. Just beating one round and then you get all the fight money without really going through like the whole thing. And, you know, to my defense, because I've used it because I'm not doing extreme at all. Go fuck yourself, Capcom. I'm not doing extreme. A hundred matches in a row? With your random RNG fucking health packs? No, I'm not doing that. Even a professional FGC player, I think, uh, I don't know his name, but he finished Extreme and he said it wasn't even worth it for the amount of fight money that you get. A hundred matches in a row on Extreme difficulty of PC, um, like fight reading, you know, key reading, can block anything. Bullshit. Imagine you're fighting a hundred matches on the highest difficulty in Street Fighter V. And the if you lose health, because you're not going to be doing perfects every fucking round because it's high difficulty, so the computer's going to be reading your inputs, then you're going to want some health back. But the health is so RNG because uh, the survivor mode was basically a placeholder until story mode came out. So that was just like a little side thing for everybody to play on you know it wasn't supposed to be that serious now it's like the main construct and how you uh, achieve fight money in the game and with that being broken the RNG health pack excuse me for that noise for the RNG health packs and how random it is and most of the time you'll be getting low amounts of health no fuck that I'm not doing extreme mode and people who are fans of Street Fighter who play Street Fighter 5 they haven't done it either. They're like, fuck that shit. We can do easy and normal and, you know, a few rounds and hard, but extreme? No, we're not doing that. That's that's too much, man. No, fuck that. I'm, nobody's going to play a hundred straight rounds, you know, of that shit. It's torture. Try it yourself, I'm telling you. It's not that fun. It's not fun at all. So to combat that, they created... All that mess, right? To combat hacking the survival mode and other modes inside the, um, to get fight money easily, they've released a patch, and, uh, I, I don't know, uh, I think it's called the root kit file, a root kit file, inside your game, on the PC version of the game. And, every time you open said game, now you have to run Street Fighter as an administrator, which means that the file inside Street Fighter is a spyware, it's malware, it's a virus. Because no other game on Steam does that. No other game goes, need to run that as an administrator. No. That's a problem. 
That means spyware is actually inside your PC. That means they made, instead of finding like a real solution to the problem, they found a backdoor way to do it by giving you a file that kind of acts like spyware, like a virus. So, for people who didn't even use the mods, still have to go through that. How does that even make sense, Capcom? Please explain to me that, you know? You had months, months to figure this out. Prolonged it to the very last second, and you still fuck up. This is not worth the money, and people keep telling me that this is worth $60? No. No, I mean, and people even bought the game for $35. If that, no. You guys keep fucking up. And I want to believe, I want to stay with this game as long as I can because I want to play with my friends online. And I go to the local tournaments here in North Carolina. Aside from all the bullshit that's going on over here, here in Charlotte. Jesus Christ. That's another topic for another day. But, yeah, I go to local tournaments and commentate there and uh, uh, participate and learn and stuff like that. I'm not the greatest Street Fighter player in the world. I'm just learning five. So, it's fun, you know... Because other people are playing it, you know? And the game, you keep making it unfun. You keep making it not fun to play. As many times you can add new characters and brand new stuff, it's not fun. And now you're adding spyware to PCs that hard crash are gaming PCs? Unacceptable. Fix this shit, Capcom. Your reputation doesn't need to take another hit. But you keep doing it to yourselves. You keep doing it to yourselves, and you're affecting other people. And if this goes on for longer, you might have a lawsuit in your hands on some real shit because that's crashing people's computers. So, I don't know, I don't know what, the, what else to say about it, man. I'm, I'm salty that this is happening. There has been some tweets that they are fixing this, but this is unacceptable. You had months to get this correct. You had time. I don't know if you outsourced this or whatever, but you had time to fix this, and you fucked up. Alright guys, tell me how you feel about this situation. Do you have the PC version of Street Fighter V? And if you do, can you run it? If not, let me know, because I can't run mine. I could run mine for like a little bit, then it just shuts down. So I'm not touching the game until that thing is fixed. So, once again dudes... I love you all. Thanks for listening to me rant about this situation. Hopefully they'll get this fixed and then we'll play some more Street Fighter V online. And hopefully they'll fix the net code, you know, because it's kind of, you know, not running well as well. But it's, it is better than MKX. But MKX is coming up with their new, uh, with their new beta. They about to soon overtake, uh, you know, Street Fighter V with that new beta for PC. For PC, they're getting a new net code system. So... Capcom, you got some competition. See you next time, dudes, here at Alter Element Games. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace and love. I'm out of here. Deuces.